And that's how we start day four here in the States. Oh, very, very hot. Just a nice bit of Starbucks. Let's do day four VCon. And we are here. Yes, we are. Here's the brother. Oh, hey. Yes. And we had a very interesting situation last night. What happened, brother? Uh, what we thought was uh, gunshots yeah. uh, outside of the pizza shop we were at. And um, yeah, it was uh, quite startling. Yeah. Yep. yep. Pretty startling. This is at like 4 a.m., 3 a.m. in the morning. Ended up being a firework, so everything was fine. But basically, everyone started ducking and freaking out. But yeah, everything is all good. There we go. Also, we met our first New Zealander. Hey, hey what's going on, brother? <laughs> Let's go, VCon, baby. <laughs> Oh man, I've been waiting to meet another Kiwi. People just joined the show. People just announced a Beeple and VFriend collaboration for GiftGo, which is absolutely huge. If you know anything about GiftGo, basically it was a 5 Ether, which was at the time about 30,000 New Zealand dollars at the time to mint it. And he was giving out, I can't remember how many gifts over the period of a certain period of time, but the quality and value of the gifts that people have gotten by owning this token are immense. And this people v friend collaboration, that's insane, that's worth more than this 5e um, initial investment alone. All right, we're having a look at the gift goat floor here. Oh yeah, it's 27 ether. Oh dang. So already that's a almost a 3x in about a year's time on an investment, which is insane. It's 300%, right? And that floor is going to continue to go up, especially with the value that Gary is bringing. So it just goes to show what's possible investment-wise when it comes to projects like this. It's crazy. <laughs> Okay, like I said, when we first started, there were people telling us, hey man, take your time, wait, Snoop, I don't think, man, fuck that, we're going right now. You pick and choose who you want to work with. You don't just accept any and everything. You build your team around you to run through it. That's what these guys are for. They check everything that I do. Anything in the NFT space, because everybody's always using that word. NFT, NFT, NFT. The conversation start off. Hey, man, how your family doing? I'm all, I think all right. Hey, man, you think you can help me with the NFTs? <laughs> and that's what they're for, because they are there to, to make sure that this is a great business move. It accompanies us, and it's also something that we can give them, not just what they can give us. So it's got to be a 50-50 when you, you know, choosing your business partners when you get to this level. Yeah, everybody in this room is early, so, you know, applaud yourselves because it's a huge opportunity ahead. Um, I, uh, I just looked around and realized the smartest people I knew were going into the space. You know, follow the developers. Like, there's kids that I knew for years who were helping us make apps and websites, and when I started to get tweets and DMs and emails saying, hey, you guys thinking about a token? First and foremost, thank you. You've given me more energy. People kept asking me, how are you doing this? You put more energy in me, not took it out. I was interviewing a lady by the name of NFT Ignition, who is, and we've got this in the background, that is amazing. <laughs> and I, uh, she, she was an advisor was... on the board of a, um, uh, the first woman's NFT project, which is absolutely incredible. Yeah. And hearing her passion behind it is what well, made me inspired by that. And that leads me to being so inspired by what you're doing now with women as well. Thank you. I think it's absolutely incredible and so needed. Thank so you. to that point, if I was to ask you, what do you think uh, the space could do most in order to bring the most value to women in the space, what would that be? Yeah, I think men need to offer more opportunity for women. I think women in the space currently, like, I mean, you saw it here, it's all dudes. Yeah. Like, and there's like some, some chicks. Yeah, It's like totally, dudes and totally. some chicks. Like, yeah. I want it to be dudes and chicks. Yeah. When we're developing teams and we're bringing women on, or just people on, we need to be searching for diversity, like, mm. out the gate. And if you look around and your whole team is like white male, like, check yourself and be like, yo, someone's, we need to add someone or yeah. someone's gotta go and someone's gotta find diversity because what ultimately happens when you bring diversity to a project is you get a different perspective and you get more creativity like it's better to have like different spices in your pasta than it is to have just salt right yeah, totally. so if you have just salt the shit's gross and yeah. you're a three-year-old child eating that but if you have different flavors and different backgrounds like you're eating a whole beautiful meal and a feast so keep your table really diverse what would you want to say to the woman who are uh 
maybe watching this who yep. aren't in the space yet, what would you say to them? Uh, maybe out of like get in it, do your research, and or, get educated. Yeah. Don't don't sleep on this. What's your handle? Uh, Brooke does everything. Brooke does everything. You can find me it. on TikTok and Instagram and. Brooke does it all on Twitter. Awesome. Well, there you go, guys. Well, based on all that, uh, pretty sure I'm going to invest in as much V Friends stuff as possible after this. Uh, over the next course of the next 12 to 24 months, I can imagine the NFT market is still going to be quite low in comparison to what it's going to be after that. Um, I can really see, based on what's been happening in the space, that it is riding on hype at the moment. And therefore, I wouldn't be surprised if there are more, if there is more bleeding of the market, uh, just in the blockchain space in general. So not just NFTs, but crypto as well, um, based on the fact that it has been riding on hype and therefore not actual real value. Most of it, anyway. Of course, there's a lot of real value out there. However, as the real value develops and evolves, uh, especially from events like this, with so much value is being given, which is insane, uh, the actual value is going to be seen and therefore the actual value is going to come through and actually overtake the hype which is the most beautiful thing so i can really see that anyway with that being said uh that is everything from vcon i really hope you enjoyed it uh i mean I'm, i was freaking buzzing the whole time and man met some amazing people made some amazing connections um and i'm so grateful for you for tuning in so thank you so much because i mean that's the reason why i do this is like I mean, why, I'm, I'm not getting paid for this thing so <laughs> i'm just done um if you haven't already tuned into that NFT podcast on any podcast platform, um, a bunch of beginner to intermediate uh, uh, tips on, yes sir, um, on NFTs, uh, blockchain in general, and also as well, we've got an amazing course coming for the space for those that are wanting to learn more as well. So if you enjoyed it, subscribe, share with a friend. I love you. Catch you later. See you next time. Who's coming back next year? Woo!